the award-winning DAF XF, road charges and tolls, and gripping improvements to Renault's van range. This is a week in trucks in association with DAF Trucks. A couple of months back, the DAF XF was crowned Fleet Truck of the Year at the Motor Transport Awards. But what made it win the judges' approval? Here's Motor Transport Editor Steve Hobson on why the XF is the truck of 2016. I'm Steve Hobson, the editor of Motor Transport, and I'm here to tell you a bit about why the DAF XF won the Fleet Truck of the Year Award in the 2016 Motor Transport Awards. Now, the Fleet Truck of the Year Award is chosen by a panel of fleet operators. These guys really know what they're talking about. One of the key things that they look for in a fleet truck is reliability. Uptime and productivity are two of the key factors. For 30 years, a Motor Transport Award has been the most sought after accolade in the road freight transport industry. And as you can see, over the years, DAF has picked up quite a few Fleet Truck of the Year awards. So why is it that a Motor Transport Award is so sought after? It's very simple. Every year, the awards are chosen by independent panels of Fleet Truck operators, the people who really matter when it comes to deciding which is the best Fleet Truck. They are not chosen by journalists in smoky rooms or because it's Buggins' turn. These awards are chosen every single year by these panels of experts. That is why they are so valued. Even the most reliable of truck can sometimes go wrong. And that is when the quality of the aftercare becomes absolutely vital. For a fleet operator, uptime is one of the key parameters they look at when choosing a fleet truck. And as one of our judges put it, the support they get from the DAF is absolutely first class. That is another reason why the DAF XF won the Fleet Truck of the Year this year. DAF is one of the biggest and best dealer networks and DAF Aid is regarded as a benchmark when it comes to roadside assistance. That is what gives fleet operators the confidence to buy and operate DAF trucks. As well as reliability and uptime, fuel economy is one of the key factors that fleet operators look for when choosing their truck. It's one of the most important components of running costs and really is one of the top, top priorities. Here again, the DAF XF represents evolution rather than revolution. It has all the latest technology incorporated in the Euro 6 version to make sure it is at the top of the table when it comes to fuel economy. So put the two together, fuel economy, reliability, high performance, that is what made it our Fleet Truck of the Year 2016. Renault recently introduced three new enhanced grip models which will be available across its van range. The first in the range, the Grip Extend system, is designed for slightly tricky surfaces. It is now standard on its Kangoo, Traffic and Master vans and is best suited for gravel road or slightly muddy farm track. It uses an advanced traction control system that can be activated at speeds of up to 31 miles per hour. Next is the x track which is available on the Master 4x4 as well as the Kangoo, Traffic and Standard Master. It is more suitable for off-roading and is noticeably more efficient than the Grip Extend versions. Finally is the 4x4 on its Master vans. Drivers can select 4x2 mode for driving on normal roads and then switch to 4x4 for off-road usage. When we put it to the test, it breezed up some seriously steep loose gravel hills. The HGV Road User Levy M6 toll and dart charge are just a few of the charges that truck operators have to pay to use Britain's roads. And that's on top of other operating costs like O licence fees, fuel costs. I could go on, but with the rise in low emission vehicles, the government is receiving less revenue from fuel duty and tax, so more road tolls could be on the cards. This week's Commercial Motor looks at what form road charging could take. The Campaign for Better Transport wants any tolls introduced to target hauliers and says large vehicles don't pay for the damage they cause on the roads. But the RAC Foundation says more road user charging could help tackle congestion and emissions, as well as raise funds for the government. Whatever the government decides to introduce, the RHA wants to make sure it is kept simple. You can find out more in this week's issue of Commercial Motor. That was a week in trucks. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already done so.